right, this is your Journey Crypto Channel coming at you. It is lucky 13, July. Not looking so great in a lot of ways. Um, so inflation data, 9.1%. Not very good. That means the Fed will probably hike rates minimally 75%, 75 basis points. Um, they're pricing in a 1%. Uh, percent. Um, I don't think that's probably likely. They're probably... They want to probably uh, a good even 2.5%, uh, but likely inflation has peaked. Uh, this data is a month old, so we got to think, like, I'm already noticing gas prices and prices of things kind of going down. Now, if that reverses, we're screwed, but I don't think it will. Um, I think with, with this news, we did not see the markets tank. I mean, they might this week. This week will tell a lot, but if they hold support, if Bitcoin doesn't drop below like 18K, 19K again, it did wick, but I think that was just a quick reaction. Uh, it's it's looking to me like a bottom is forming, so take that as you will. I'm dollar cost averaging. You don't know where the bottom's going to be. Everyone is screaming for 10K, 14K. When everyone's screaming for it, it's probably not going to happen, at least not right now. I think a relief rally is more than needed and reserved and I'm seeing things on the web about uh, just rumors of Voyager and Celsius. Celsius has not declared bankruptcy yet. Um, I am an ambassador for them but I have not been advertising for them and pushing it until things are resolved but if they do come out of this it's going to be extremely bullish for crypto. Uh, Voyager looks kind of screwed in my opinion. I'm really kind of PO'd at them, but maybe they get bought out. Maybe Celsius gets bought out. Maybe there's mergers happening behind the scenes. I mean, Sam uh, Sam Bankman fried has been pretty quiet. He did get BlockFi, but he said he had $2 billion to acquire and he paid, I think, half a billion for them, so that means he's got $1.5 billion to sit around on. So maybe he takes uh, Voyager or he takes um, Celsius. Long as we can hope. I mean, there's a lot of people including myself, a lot of money in there, that would, that would just destroy a lot of people. So let's uh, hope for the best. I'm going to do some charting probably this evening. Um, but for me, I'm, I'm playing the contrarian card. I, I don't, I think this is it. I mean, short of uh, another war breaking out, I mean, how much more pain can it freaking take, you know? So let's just see what happens today. If, if, if it does tank, it breaks 17.5 below there. Yeah, we're probably looking at 14K, 12 to 14K. But uh, I just don't see it. This bottom looks very similar to the 2018 bottom in as well. In a quarter mile, slight and, right onto Hartwood Road. And with the volume on Coinbase chart spiking the way it has, I think the bottom is formed. Good luck. Peace.